Mookie. Yes, Josh. Let's do it this week's wow on this thing. Sounds great, chum. What is it? This is a thermometer which is powered by crayfish. It says here it's a water clock. Well, you can't believe everything you read, Josh. <laughs> How does it work? Actually, it's a water clock built around a gas-powered steam-fed engine commissioned by former president of this museum, Grover Cleveland. Whoa, 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 whoa. Kids, it sounds like you need a little bit of help. Who are you? Vic the plumber. At your service. I think he's uh, spinning some lies here. Do you know how this thing works? Uh, hey, look, look, look. I graduated pluma cum laude with a double major in leak management and clogged diffusion, so I think I know a little bit about pipes. Have a seat, kids. It's okay. time for some learning. All right, what we got here is a water clock. You were right about that one. Not commissioned by Grover Cleveland, you were wrong about that one. I... The whole thing works on suctions, gravity, and vacuum, stuff like that. So, we got to start at the top of the clock and work our way down. Look all the way up at the top, you got a big tank of water, right? Gravity pulls water down from that tank into that scoopy deal. Scoopy deal's kind of going up and down like that, dumping water down below into those big squiggly tubes. You see those squiggly tubes? Yeah. They're yeah. squiggly in their tubes. Those things are called siphons. Have you ever seen a siphon before? Have you ever used a siphon before? Have you ever used a toilet before? Yeah. Then you have used a siphon. You see, a siphon fills all the way up with water, and then it starts to overflow over the back, just like when you flush a toilet. Gravity pulls all that water down, down below into the next siphon. You can see there's siphon, 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 five of them in a row. You get down to the bottom siphon right there. When that siphon starts to overflow, it creates a big suction. Kind of like my uh, trusty plunger right here, I call a Charlene. You see, when I use my plunger, I'm sucking up water like that, pulling it from one place to another. When that siphon overflows, the same kind of thing happens. Gravity pulls it down, creates a suction. That suction pulls more water out of the top of the clock and dumps it over into that minute side right there. Oh. See that minute side? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, all the way up like that. Minute side fills up. I'm gonna tell you something. That minute side, I right, don't tell anyone, it's kind of a secret. That's a giant siphon. Oh, All right, you can tell everyone. Actually, we want people to know that. So when that thing fills up, same thing happens as on those siphons. The whole thing fills up. At the end of the hour, it overflows. Water drains down by gravity. Another suction is created, sucking more water out of the top of the clock and dumping it over into the hour side. See that hour side? One, two, three, all the way up to 12. That's what they call the hour side, right? And that's another siphon too. The whole thing fills up with water, overflows, suctions drain it down, gravity spills out the whole thing down this big ball at the bottom here. Well, there's a tube down at the bottom after that, down into a pump room. The pump pumps all the water back up to the top of the clock, starts all over again. Any questions? Right, yeah. uh, how does it work? I think it's magic. <laughs> oh, kids, there's no such thing as magic. Vic the plumber, away! <laughs>